Okay, so the fence is now put up, as you can see. And the next thing that we're gonna do is put up these plants or boxes on the side of the house there. So the fence is now screwed in completely on those two posts and the top of this one I didn't oh, I didn't want to screw in this bottom one because we actually need to attach um, this fence onto it so I need to first look at how they attach before I can screw this one in so let me just take a look so this is the exact reason why we're only doing two fences at a time because obviously these poles if you see it on the line none of these ones they're not completely straight even though they are all in line at the base so I'm gonna screw the next two poles in together and then line them up over here screw them in then attach them properly over here just so that we can keep the straight line but the top of the fence is still in line with each other Now I'm going to line up the fences and do the exact same thing.
Okay, so the fence is now put up, as you can see. And the next thing that we're gonna do is put up these planter boxes on the side of the house there. And also we need to varnish up this fence still. But it's, it's starting to rain a little bit. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it today, but I will update you guys either way. So it's a new day and we're going to be putting up these boxes. We were gonna use those brackets, um, but they look really bad. And also they wouldn't really fit along the bottom of the uh, wall here. So we're gonna put three screws on each side of these boxes and then drill them up. One there, another one there, and then one there going down by each plank. As I said earlier, it's just a planter box. We're gonna put some pines inside and it'll be a way for the cats to uh, jump up and get inside the house at night. So the planter boxes are now up and I think we might fill them up with dirt. 